Hey folks, Silver King here, back with another video. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. We're going to submerge these copper and silver bullion bars in acid, let it set for 24 hours, and see what happens. So first, let's get a closer look at the bullion bars. You've got this one ounce copper bar here. This is pretty new, but I've left it out in the open, so it's already starting to oxidize a little bit. So this will probably look pretty good when it first gets exposed to the acid. Here is the one ounce silver. and the one pound copper bar. So uh, first I wanted to weigh these so I can get a starting weight in case they shed some weight in the solution. This scale isn't, isn't perfect, but it's good enough. It's about 32, 31 grams on the silver, 30, no, 29 grams on the copper, and 457 grams on the copper one pound bar. The acid I'll be using is actually a restored tile and grout cleaner. It's got a pH level of two. It's very strong and very active. It's designed to be metal safe, but that's typically whenever you dilute it with four parts or eight parts water, and if you barely expose the metal to it. So with this sitting in there for 24 hours, it's gonna be super active. All right, so that's the setup. Here's, here are the bars, the pre-acid the pre -acid look. I'm going to set up the acid in the containers and we're going to get them submerged. Okay, so we have our three containers of acid. I'm going to submerge these one by one. We're going to see if anything changes immediately, and then I'm just going to drop them in there. So first, we're going to do the one ounce copper bar. Let me start by submerging it halfway. Ooh, see, it's already looking a lot nicer. So that's halfway up, so definitely some reaction for the one ounce copper bar. So now I'm just gonna drop it in. Let's do the one pound copper bar right here. It's gonna go in halfway to begin with. And a little bit of change on that one, not much. This one I'm actually gonna keep halfway out uh, to get a really easy look at the before and after. Here's the silver, stick it in halfway. No real reaction on the silver, just maybe got a little bit cleaner, but yeah, no real reaction on the silver. So immediately we can tell the silver didn't react much, if at all, and the copper reacted almost immediately. So there you go, that one's in there. Whoops, don't want to do that. Okay, so we're set up, we're in here. The timer starts now, and we'll come back for a little checkup, and I'll see you in 24 hours. Don't try this at home unless you have a super secure storage location like I do. All right, here we are, 24 hours later. I'm gonna take these out and see if anything's happened. So far, not too much has been going on, it looks like, but I'm gonna add one more step, which uh, stay tuned and we'll see if things change, actually. So first, let me take out this one ounce copper bar. I'm gonna dry it off real quick. All right, here we go. One ounce copper. So it just basically looks kind of refreshed there's a little bit of activity on the face right there but it just mainly looks just refreshed and clean the wording hasn't been affected um the artwork looks okay it's got a kind of a strange look it's kind of hard to see in the camera but it's got a little bit of an unusual color in person like a pinkish hue it's hard to see that on the camera but i see it live it's got some sort of pinkish hue to it so what I'm actually going to do, I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil the surprise. I'm going to let these sit out for 24 hours just outside of the acid and see if anything happens to them when they're exposed to fresh air for 24 hours. So if you keep watching after this first look at them here, you'll see what happens after 24 hours of just sitting out. So, but this one so far looks not too affected, just a little bit of, a little bit of issues, not much though. So this one is, put this aside over here. For the one pound copper bar, there's a little bit of a difference. So 
here we see the difference between the one that was outside the acid and the one that was submerged. And this is where the acid kind of splashed up a little bit as I was moving it. So maybe ignore that little piece right there. But there's definitely a change in color. And you can kind of see the pinkish, pinkish hue I was talking about. Well, look at that. I can, well, you can kind of see the pinkish hue I was talking about a little bit better here. It does look a little bit pink in the light. But here's this one. Now, this transition point where I splashed the masset up on it when I was moving it looks pretty bad. So that's what makes me wonder if I leave this sitting out for uh, 24 hours now, if this will look really bad after 24 hours. So I'm going to leave this sitting out and see what happens. But here it is so far. You can definitely see a difference on this one, a little bit more than the one ounce. All right, so acid, no acid. And finally, the silver bar. I wouldn't have expected a lot of activity on this. And hmm, maybe some etching. A little bit of etching. Those fine lines, I don't remember them being there like that. So, but it does look really clean. I'm going to see if this mint mark scrambled indicia has been affected by the acid once it dries. I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this sit out for 24 hours also. Once I fully dry it, I'm going to let it sit out. There, let's give it a little scrub. I'm going to let it sit out too to see if anything happens. But silver looks like really unaffected by the acid after 24 hours. But stay tuned. I'm going to let it sit out, for, I'm going to let it sit out in the open for 24 hours. Come back, see if anything happened, and we'll end the video there. Okay, here we are 24 hours later, and not much has changed actually. The, the copper looks about the same as when it first came out of the acid. So all the damage has already been done. There's not any new tarnish marks or deterioration of the surface. It looks about the same. The silver, same thing. I mean, if anything, the silver just looks more clean than, than it did going in. And the back looks good. Let's see if the security features are okay. Yep, security feature there. Security feature there. So no issue with that. So silver looks great. The copper bar is really the, uh, took the biggest punishment, I guess. Clear difference between the top and bottom. The shiny finish on the top is completely gone. I tried to wash this off to see if it's just something on the surface, and it seems to have penetrated pretty deeply. So, as expected, the copper, that looks the same there, the copper took a beating in the acid, but the silver did okay. So, that's it. Not a huge difference, but just if you were curious what would happen, that's what would happen. Uh, I guess not a whole lot of, not a whole lot would happen, but it is what it is. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks again.